pry the iPad away from your kids, force your friends to put down their phones, it's game night and you are challenging them to a race to build the best maze. In maze racers, each player builds a maze using foam shapes on magnetic trays. The goal is to make the maze as tricky as possible so it will stump your opponents. Hi, I'm Andy Jeremiah, the creator of Maze Racers, the game where you create a marble maze, your opponent creates a maze, when you're done, you swap mazes, and you race. Simple concept, uh, it was inspired by some wooden marble mazes that I've been making, where people would race each other uh, with marble mazes. That evolved into a four-foot version where people would navigate a golf ball through, uh, through a maze. Uh, but I saw people really enjoyed the maze racing concept, so I entered that idea into a contest to design a low-cost game for kids. So it was a cereal box and have kids cut up straws and glue them into the cereal box using creativity and planning to create a maze. Uh, that simple concept won first prize. Whoever is done creating their maze first yells, ready to race, and flips the sand timer, which means everyone else has just 60 seconds to finish building. When the minute is up, swap trays and try to maneuver the wooden ball through the maze and back again. Finish first, and you win the round. After a few rounds, you'll start to see how to build mazes that are trickier and more complex. When I played the game with my 11-year-old son, we started getting pretty ambitious and competitive as the game went on. Playing builds engineering and logical thinking skills. Not that anyone will notice during the hectic head-to-head -head competition. Play a few rounds, and we think you'll agree. 